I will show you how to load different scenes in Unity. I've started by creating two scenes, cube scene and sphere scene. Now I need to add the scenes to my build settings. And here I can just drag and drop. And notice how every scene has an index number, cube scene 0, sphere scene 1. Let's create a new script where we can try this out. By pressing a key, we will load the new scene. And here we can either uh, enter the index of the scene, the number, or the scene name. And we can choose to load it additive or single. Single will replace the current loaded scene and additive will uh, add all the objects in the new scene to the current one. Let's begin with single. Let's add the component to an object. Seems like I made a mistake. Uh, this file can't have a space in it. It needs to be load test without a space. Let's try it again. There you go. And um, we're in the sphere scene. So we want to load a cube scene, which is index 0. So let's try it out. Success. Now let's try loading it additively. Let's run it. Press space. And we see we add the cube scene to the very scene and also we get an information here there are two audio listeners in the scene and there can be only one so let's stop this and on the main camera we can just check this audio listener try it again and it's solved so you can only have one set of ears in a scene we can also load a scene asynchronously. This is what we would use if we want a loading scene or a progress bar. So let's begin by removing this. And use scene manager dot load async. And as usual, you begin with what scene you want to load. And here you can also use additive or single. To load the scene in the background, we need to use a coroutine. And to have a coroutine, we need to include system.collections to get the IA numerator. move this code here and to kick off the coroutine cool 
we use start coroutine and what coroutine to actually execute. So then it will get into our load level method and start the asynchronous load and it will return here when the loading is done. Let's try it out. Load is done. We can get some information on how the progress is going. By using a, a sync operation that is returned from a load scene async async operation. We can use this to ask if we're done or not. Is done is true when the scene is loaded. If we set the allow scene activation, uh, which we would do over here, then the uh, scene will be activated as soon as, as it's ready. Or if you want to wait, we set it to false and then you have to activate it yourself. If you want to check the progress, we can ask it. So progress dot progress returns a value between zero and one. It's the percentage of the load level. So zero, nothing is loaded. One, everything is loaded. So let's save it. Let's try it again. Zero, 0 0.9 and load is done. Let's try to disallow, allow scene activation. So now the progress will stop at 0.9% or 90%. So let's wait until the user presses return button to actually activate the scene. So when the progress is at 90% and you press the return key, the new scene will activate. So let's load the scene. And as you can see, it's stuck at 90%. You press return and it's loaded.